Hi, I'm Dr. Nixon with Healing Peak Regenerative Medicine, and today I want to talk to you about a food as medicine life hack. And it's about balancing your hormones as a female. So uh, this is about female hormone balancing and how to do it with food and using the moon cycles. This is an incredible way to find out if you can rebalance your hormones on your own and most of the time it's going to have a positive actually I would say every time it's going to have a positive positive effect on hormone balancing to one degree or another there's one caveat to this method and I will discuss that uh, so if you have PMS or you um, you've lost your period as in like your period comes maybe once every three months or you haven't had it for nine months or um, let's say you have irregular periods. Sometimes your period comes in two weeks and sometimes it doesn't come for eight weeks. So, or if you have really strong irritability or anxiety, you know, PMS symptoms, this is also a really great method to try. Basically, any kind of hormone balance um, or PMSing, including actually if you're on birth control, you can use this method too to help um, assist you with that birth control if you're having negative effects of the birth, like to the birth control that you're using. So it's called seed cycling. And what you do is you use two seeds during the follicular phase, which is when your follicle develops and the egg develops. And then you use two different seeds during your luteal phase, which is when the lining of the uterus develops um, and the egg to, to make space for the egg to implant if, you, if, it's, if you're going to get pregnant, right? Um, so your body is going to go through this cycle whether you're trying to get pregnant or not. And the typical cycle is 28 days, but there can be a range, right? From 25 to 36 days, like that can all be normal for your body if your body's been doing a certain cycle day regularly, um, as long as it's not um, shorter than 21 days, you know, then there's not a whole lot of, of place for concern. You know, things do change throughout your life cycle depending on stress and what age you are, um, all these different kinds of things. Also, if you're perimenopausal, seed cycling is a good thing to do as well because, you know, you may find that you tolerate any type of perimenopausal symptoms much better or that they go away completely when you start to do seed cycling. If you don't have a cycle right now or you don't know, you know, when to start or um, you want to get things more regular, then you want to follow the phases of the moon. So new moon to full moon. New moon would be the start of the seed cycling and the full moon would be the end. Um, and so you would do the seed cycling based on the lunar calendar so that you can get your body back into a rhythm. And if you don't have your period at all, you can start cycling this way um, using the new moon cycle and eventually um, your period should return. So obviously there can be many different things with hormone imbalances and if this doesn't work for you then I would really highly encourage you to see a naturopathic doctor or um, a gynecologist, you know, somebody who can give you some further assistance in testing. Things that really affect hormones are blood sugar imbalances. So if you're consuming a lot of simple carbohydrates or sugar, I would highly encourage you to back off on that. Uh, that. That can have a really negative effect on hormones. And the reason why I am bringing this type of information to you today is because hormone imbalance plays an enormous role in in pain and also muscle tension and recovery or healing from an injury or surgery. So if you don't have the right hormone balance on board or your blood sugars are all over the place, uh, your, your body is not going to respond the way that it should to joint pain. In fact, it can even increase systemic inflammation and arthritic conditions. So you really want your hormones uh, functioning really well. And if you have PMS, or your cycles are irregular, that's an indication to you that your hormones are off. So um, anyway, that is kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys today about. So you can Google 
uh, you can Google the words seed cycling or hormone balancing using seed cycling, and that will bring up the template for you for both the follicular phase and the luteal phase. And you can print that off and just paste it on your fridge or like attach it to your fridge so you can see. And then mark a reminder on your calendar, you know, when it's time for you to transition from it's sesame seeds and sunflower seeds, and then it's pumpkin seeds and flax seeds. And there's a certain dosage, you know, tablespoon um, per of each per that day. The flax seed does need to be ground. Um, I would discourage you from using flax meal because flat, the, the reason this works is because of the types of oils in these seeds is what helps to regulate the hormones. And you want those, you want that oil to be fresh and oil oxidizes really quickly. And so you'll want to grind your own flax seeds, which you can do in a coffee grinder and then store them in the fridge or freezer to keep them from oxidizing too quickly. But um, flax meal, we don't know how long it's been on the shelf. We don't know how it was stored. And so you may not be getting a very high quality oil from flax meal. Um, yeah, so you'll want to grind up the small seeds so that you can actually digest the oils from them and you're not just eating them and they're becoming fiber instead of actually getting the oils out of them. And then uh, you'll be able to easily find that on Google, the seed cycling hormone, tons of images will come up. It's very easy and simple to find and pretty simple to follow. My sister actually shared with me um, a really cool website that is making, it can become cumbersome to do the seed cycling. I have to be honest with you, it can be like kind of annoying to do it even though it is so effective, you guys, it is so effective. This is one of my most favorite food as medicine hacks because it works so well to rebalance hormones and people are always like I didn't realize like I could just eat these these seeds and do this thing and like my hormones are now like so beautiful and I'm so well regulated and so I'm going to share with you this website I haven't personally used it so I can't 100% vouch for it but I do want to share with you what it is and it is called Moon Cycle Seed Company Moon Cycle Seed Company they will send you bars or um, packets of of the actual seeds themselves so that it's like already pre-packaged for you and you use it like kind of like birth control in that you just grab your little packet for that day following um, either the moon cycle or your your cycle if you have one and you're just looking for some better regulation with your cycle so uh, if you are looking for rebalancing with hormones through food, this is an excellent place to start. Like I said, it's pretty benign. Oh, the one time that this becomes not a great option is if the patient is sensitive to any one of these seeds. So I've talked in my previous videos about food sensitivities and allergies. And uh, if, the, if you're sensitive to flaxseed, pumpkin seeds, um sesame seeds or sunflower seeds or sunflower oil, then this may not be the best option for you. But other than that, if you're not sensitive to those four seeds, then it's an excellent option. And like I said, I have no idea of it ever conflicting with any other supplements or medications. Um, I always encourage people to talk to their doctors before they start any new protocols because I'm not your doctor, so that's my disclaimer. If you're concerned or you have questions, please um, talk to your doctor before you start any of this. And then, uh, yeah, it has it has really amazing effects, and it can really cut down your your systemic inflammation and pain. I think you will be surprised if you are someone who suffers from hormone imbalances how more even keeled your health will feel to you um, if you start seed cycling. That's all for today. Have a great week, you guys.